Um, and it was good to hear different voices from across Europe um, indicating how they had coped with the challenges of lockdown and the impact of COVID. Uh, to learn from each other um, and I think above all uh, to give each other solidarity in moving forward. The resolution which we discussed I think gives a very sound framework um, for what we need to do over the next period um, and we're all looking forward to getting together again in July and um, hopefully as we come out of the pandemic um, and face up to the challenges that lie ahead of us. Well, I've been an active uh, teacher trade unionist since I uh, became a teacher um, and I suppose I'm passionate about both because I, I think they complement each other um, I have a strong professional commitment to education. Um, I enjoy working with young people and I enjoy nurturing uh, their personalities and nurturing the, you know, our future society's uh, DNA um, in the work that um, I did for most of my career in the classroom. But I've always um, been committed politically to trade unions because I think not only do they serve a role in defending uh, their members, but particularly for teacher trade unions, I think there is a professional voice um, attached to teacher trade unions, which actually improves the educational experience for young people. And I'm, I'm very clear in my own mind that um, as a teacher trade unionist, I am a teacher and a trade unionist, and those are complementary roles. And I think teacher trade unions uh, make a real difference to the quality of educational experience for young people. Um, and looking forward to uh, promoting that message in, in my new role as president of ETUC. Well, there's a very immediate challenge um, caused by the pandemic and the implications for that in each of the countries in which we work. Um, so we have had real difficulties with schools being locked down, with addressing the inequities that exist in our societies and um, revealed by the different experience that young people have had um, during that lockdown period. Access to digital platforms, for example, has been a common occurrence um, with children from poorer backgrounds not having the same opportunities as those who are more affluent background and, and able to go online to continue their learning. Um, so that's been a huge challenge, and I think across uh, the whole of Europe, the teacher trade unions have risen to that challenge, and teachers have risen to that challenge really effectively. And um, we are already aware that there will be huge issues to be confronted, um, not only in terms of education recovery, and hopefully within that education recovery, we can learn lessons from some of the inequities that were exposed by the pandemic. Uh, so from a trade union point of view, I think there will be many battles to be fought.